Hi there, it's a beautiful sunny day here in Perth and I just want to give you a quick introduction in this video to what's possible in Power BI and then in the next video I'll show you how to build one of these dashboards really quickly. So here's an overview of exactly what you can do. My last three videos have shown you how you can use the amazing new features in Excel, namely Power Query and Power Pivot, to grab data from anywhere, um, consolidate it, manipulate it, and then analyze that data. Uh, I'm now going to introduce you to PowerBI.com and Power BI Desktop. The fantastic things about this is that it's an extension of the skills and techniques you learn with Power Query and Power Pivot. The engine of Power BI Desktop that builds the reports that you then share in PowerBI.com. The engine is Power Query and Power Pivot. So you learn these skills in Excel and then they're transferable easily to build these sorts of dashboards. Um, this is a web browser. This is the PowerBI.com website. I've loaded this report up and spent some time formatting it. The really good stuff about this report is that I load it once, I can refresh it, I can then share it with the people I want to share it with, um, and then they can interact with it. So if they want to see the data for 2016, they can click on the 2016 slicer, and every chart changes. If they want to see 2015, they click on that. But the really powerful stuff with Power BI Desktop is that if they want to see the East region, they click on the East bar, and then every graphic changes and it's now displaying data for the east. If they want to see the north or the Primo product, this way you can build one report that is then applicable to many people. And you can even set things up so that when a particular user logs in, they only see the data for, say, the north region or the east region. So the east manager would log in and they'd just see the east data. So you're not building lots of reports and sending them out to lots of different individuals. There are two excellent features that I've just got to show you as well with Power BI. One feature is called Q&A and it's about asking questions of your data and being able to build charts without even having to know how to build charts. I'll just click in this box and start typing what I want to see. So sales variance by month. And there we have it, a chart built for us already for 2015 and rather than a bar chart I'd like to see it as a column chart so I type as column that's pretty impressive I noticed that my charts actually sorted in value order so I want it sorted by month so this sort of interrogation is just getting better and better and it's a very impressive tool I can even then pin this visual or do some extra visualizations or coloring and add it to one of my own personal dashboards. And the last thing I'll show you is just under the report view. This element of being able to drill down into reports to explore your data. So I'll just zoom into this chart one second. Here we can see there's a 302k variance in May, but I want to find out what that is. So I click on this enable drill down button and I can now drill down and see it was the Primo product that was the worst performing product that month. And if I want to find out which region was responsible, again, I can click on that and here it is, the East region. So it enables users to drill down and explore their data. And I can drill back up. So this ability to flick between slices, pick a product, see all the graphics change, pick a region, see all your analysis and numbers change. It's a very powerful tool. And the engine is Power Query, Power Pivot, and then this graphical layer that is Power BI Desktop. So that's a four minute introduction in terms of what Power BI can do. We're just scratching the surface and over the next weeks and months, I'll be producing some more videos to show you some more things that Power BI is capable of. Uh, my next video, I'll actually show you how to import some CSV files, turn them into a dashboard and publish it to powerbi.com, and it should only take about five minutes. So stay tuned. Um, please share this article, share this video if you find it interesting. 
and stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.